I think the first way that I really got to know Mark was um, just by reputation. Everybody knew that Mark was this brilliant endocrinologist and if he wrote something that you better read it. Early in his career he hypothesized about the ideology of hyperthyroidism in cats which led him to smuggle in a cat uh, through the back door of a human hospital for a thyroid scan and he continues to ask very thoughtful questions enthusiastically um, in internal medicine today. He basically discovered feline hyperthyroidism which is probably the second most common geriatric disease we see in cats these days. So there's no doubt that he truly led the field on this thing. You can tell by a list of accomplishments that he's had an amazing, amazing career, extremely productive, and so if you just looked at him for his CV, you would expect to have a really intimidating person in front of you. But I've never met anyone who's so humble. Um, when you meet him, he's just a down-to-earth, friendly guy, and my my favorite thing about him is that he still gets so, so excited about veterinary medicine and hyperthyroidism in general. He, he's contributed probably half of the known literature at this point on this disease uh, as, by himself. And he's got a passion whereby his clinic is dedicated to actually research as much as it is just dealing with patients uh, and seeing clients day to day. I'm hoping my legacy will be that it's possible to be both a good clinician and a clinical researcher at a private practice situation like I am. You don't have to be at a university to do clinical research. Mark is deserving because of the breadth and the depth that he uh, brings to internal medicine. So he's got the breadth to do the individual one-on-one -on -one mentoring all the way up to the big lecture that everybody crowds in because he's such a great speaker. Um, but he's also got the depths and you know his depth keeps he keeps learning. He continues through his career. He always tells me it's because he has so many questions that come up that he wants answered before he feels like he can retire. And as we work through some of these questions with research projects, he's the first one to get excited about our data. You know, he's always just at it that's so cool. I always wondered about that or, or oh wow, who who knew? His exuberance and his just his total interest in keeping going when most people are considering retirement, Mark is considering publishing another paper. I know him because he's my husband. I would describe Dr. Peterson as a little boy in a man's body. <laughs> he's always very curious. He asks a lot of questions. He is quirky, uh, definitely very, very easy to talk to. Um, it's definitely intimidating because um, how re well renowned he is, but uh, as soon as you meet him, he definitely makes you feel like you're automatically a friend. One of his favorite words is puzzled. He always seems to be puzzled, and he has a puzzled look on his face. This happens very often that um, he wakes up in the middle of the night and has a quote unquote brilliant idea that he decides to share with me. And then also, inevitably, we wake up in the morning, or I wake up in the morning, and there is a sheet of paper on the table with a whole list of his ideas that he has come up with during the night. He is always helpful. When I've uh, had a difficult case, I would uh, email him, and he would always respond within a couple of hours. This award is the most amazing thing that's happened to me in my career and I can't thank the, the awards committee as well as the people that wrote letters of support for me for believing that my work and research is worthy of this great award. Dr. Mark Peterson, we know that you're an alum of the University of Minnesota. To us, you are a Cornellian and we're delighted that you're an adjunct professor in the Department of Clinical Sciences. Your passion and unbridled enthusiasm for discovery is truly unparalleled. Congratulations on your well-deserved recognition as this year's recipient of the Robert W. Kirk Award for Professional Excellence. Congratulations, Mark. So well-deserved. Mark, really well done. Glad to know you. Honored to be a collaborator.
Dr. Peterson, congratulations. You deserve this award and I can't think of a better recipient. Congratulations, Dr. Peterson. Hashtag Shimrad. <laughs> congratulations, Dr. Peterson. I'm so pleased that you have won this award. Congratulations, Dr. Peterson. I can't think of anyone who deserves this more than you do and thank you for all you have done for us and the field. Congratulations, Mark. Um, you are one of the most passionate people I know and this award is well-deserved for you, and I love you. <laughs>